Hey guys, what's up? I just watched the Danny Garcia vs. Rod Salka weigh-in and uh, pretty intense face-off. Um, Danny looks focused and uh, Rod Salka, he's got a chance to prove that uh, he's, got a, he's got a chance to shock the world pretty well. And uh, this fight will be at 142, so a catch weight and... Uh, it will be. Uh, it won't be for Danny's titles. It won't be for uh, Danny Danny's uh, any of his titles, since it's at 142. Rod Selka weighed in at 141 pounds. Danny Garcia weighed in at 141 and three quarter pounds. So really, for Rod Selka, this is just a paycheck and a huge opportunity to become relevant if he even puts up a fight against Danny people will remember Rod Selka or if he even or if he if he beats him that'll just be a shock to the world and Rod Selka will definitely be known um either way Rod Selka is going to be known but he'll be even more known if he can give Danny a tough time and Danny says you're going to see vicious Danny and he's coming to knock the guy out. And uh, Rod Sulka, he's never been knocked out. He's lost three times, 19 wins, only three KOs. He has a 13% KO uh, percentage. But, uh, yeah, he's lost three times, but it was, it was all by uh, one by UD and two by majority decisions. And uh, he, uh, he won his last fight fight and he lost his other fight before that against uh younger brother of Canelo Alvarez. So anyway, um it's going to be uh it's going to be a good fight. Danny's got a lot to prove and if he can't prove it, he's going to be uh heavily criticized and we'll start rethinking where uh, Danny's going. Um the what the commenter um I don't know his name for Showtime, and he interviewed the fighters after the after the the fight, and uh, I mean after not after the fight after the after the weigh-ins, and uh, Danny he asked Danny, are you gonna move up to welterweight or stay at s super uh, lightweight and fight Lamont Peterson if uh, Lamont Lamont Peterson wins his fight, and Lamont Peterson's gonna be. Uh, Gonna be on the card too. He's facing Santana, and you're also gonna have Jacobs versus Fletcher on the card. But uh, he asked, "Would are you gonna move up? Or are you gonna stay there and fight Lamont Pearson? Maybe he said, he said either one. It doesn't matter. Um, that uh, it doesn't really matter. And uh, he says, "What one do you prefer?" Danny said, "It doesn't really matter. I don't know." If he should move up to welterweight, to be honest, it's pretty dangerous there. Um, even more dangerous than uh, the 140 for sure. Um, you got a lot of. It's just a packed. It's a, It's the most packed division in uh, in boxing, the welterweight division. He'll have fights like Mayweather out there, Pacquiao, um, Keith Thurman, Maidana. Um, Sean Porter, um, you can fight Adrian Broner. There's a lot of fights out there that I have welterweight that Danny could face. And there would be good fights. But I'll, we'll see if it can get made. They talk about Pacquiao being a pwn for him, for Pacquiao's uh, fight coming up. But then Chris Algieri ended up getting it. But they were talking about that. So maybe it could be done. Uh, a Manny Pacquiao versus Danny Garcia fight, or maybe, uh, maybe another, maybe Danny Garcia versus um, Marquez or someone like that. Like, there's so many fighters Danny could face at welterweight, but he said it doesn't matter either. I stay at 140 or 147 doesn't matter, so he didn't give a clear answer if he was going up. Hopefully, he does because that would be intense and. I don't know if he can survive at one, uh, 147, to be honest. There's a lot of tough fighters there.
But uh, anyway, back to the win. Lightning Rod Salka. Um, does he have a chance? He does have a chance if Danny thinks he's just going to run over him and uh, he's overlooking Rod Salka. Uh, they actually fought. Rod Salka and Danny actually fought in the amateurs. Danny won it by split decision. Um, so they fought each other before. Rod, Rod, Rod Salka, he doesn't have, he has no knockout power whatsoever. Does he have a chance to knock out Garcia? It's very unlikely. Does he have a chance to make it a rough fight? I don't know. We'll find out. Danny Garcia overlooks him, goes in the fight trying to just knock him out. Who knows what will happen. Danny Garcia obviously has a high chance of not uh, stopping Salka or or at least winning the fight. Um, haven't seen much of Salka, but um, I think I watched some hi highlights on him. He, uh, like I said, he doesn't have that much knockout power, but he did drop his last opponent, I think, with a good punch, so... Danny overlooks him, and Danny thinks he's just going to run over him, which he should, though. And he, he's overconfident, and he, he, who knows, Rod Selka maybe could do something, but I don't, I don't know. My prediction is probably Danny Garcia by, I'll say, mid to late knockout. I think the middle, mi middle rounds he'll knock out Selka, I think. Um, I think uh, Danny is just, he's been facing higher competition and Broad Sulka's a lower competition and it's going to be like, uh, kind of like weights taken off Danny's shoulders. He's going to look really good in this fight because cause of the skill difference and just the, Danny's better and it's going to show he's on a different level and uh, we're going to see that probably. Obviously, Rod Salka has a chance, a slim chance, but Danny Garcia is probably, in my prediction, Danny Garcia is going to win this. He should win it, and he, uh, he'll he win it by Nako in the middle rounds, middle to late. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the fight. Danny's got a lot to prove. If Danny even looks a little bit bad in this fight, it's not going to be good for him at all. If he wins... And he doesn't win dominantly. It's going to be bad for him. If he knocks out Salka, but he has trouble before he knocks out Salka, it's going to be bad for him. He Danny has two options that will make him keep his reputation. Either knocks him out, um, he knocks Salka out, dominates the whole fight, and knocks him out, or Salka survives twelve rounds, but Danny just dominates every round and beats up Salka. Those are the only two options Danny Garcia has to keep his credibility but if he even looks slightly bad in this fight against Rod Salka it's not going to be good for him so anyway it's not for Danny's titles not for his WBA ring whatever titles he's got he's got two titles I think so it's not going to be for his titles and uh it's uh I think he's got the WBC and WBA in the ring or something but it's it's gonna be at 142. Both guys wait under there, and uh, don't miss it tomorrow night on Showtime. Starts at nine. Don't miss it. You're gonna have Peterson versus Santana, and uh, Jacobs versus Fletcher. So don't miss it. Um, let me know what you guys your prediction in comment section below. I go with Danny by knockout, and uh, yeah, let me know uh, what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Uh, pretty good face off. Um, both guys, uh, oh yeah, Salka looking in good shape too, Danny looking in good shape, um, all the weights on Danny's sh shoulders really for, for carrying this fight, he's got to look good, Salka, he's getting a, probably a good payday and he doesn't really got to do anything, really, so, yeah, Danny's the one who's got to prove something, right, so, yeah, subscribe if you like my videos, like them, thanks.